Welcome back, Junior Psychonauts. If you're here, welcome to the bonus episode. I'm going to assume you watched the finale, because there'll be full-blown spoilers for the rest of what happened. I knew I graduated the intern program and all, but I'll bet if I snuck in a little extra credit work, that would really irritate Norma. So first things first, we have some extra credit we can get. This filter here lets you find figments and other stuff. If you look through the camera, everything will be black and white except for the stuff you missed. It makes it super easy to go back through the mines and complete everything if you just want to get 100%. But that's not why we're here. We are here to say our goodbyes to some wonderful, delightful characters. So we're going to quickly run around to all the areas and see the characters and where they're headed to next. Let's start with Agent Forsythe. Excuse me, Agent Forsythe? Yes, Rasputin? I just wanted to apologize. No, no, no. I thought we agreed not to talk about that again. We did? Listen, in the end, I was the adult in the room. You were the child. I take full responsibility. And the whole thing is just so embarrassing, so... Let's just move the mission log to the classified file, okay? What are you doing out here? Well, just relaxing, waiting for my flight to the tropics. I'm off the clock, but I'm happy to answer any non-work-related questions. Where will you go on your vacation? Oh, well, Agents 9 and Vodella were nice enough to give me this all-expense-paid tropical vacation. Look. That thing's real? Well, it better be. That prescription sunblock I bought wasn't cheap. So, what will you do with Crystal Malik? Well, we don't want any publicity about it, or we'd have to give up Malik. Lucretia. So we'll probably just keep Malik here. Maybe give him to Agent 9 for experiments. Experiments? You're going to experiment on Crystal? Heavens no. That's terrible. Why would you say such a thing? You said- I said we'd give him to Sasha for therapy. But no one likes an argumentative preteen, Rasputin. Will you miss being the acting head of the Psychonauts? Not a bit. In fact, my main goal now is to convince Truman to put off retirement as long as I can. He's been threatening me with the title of Grand Head for years. But I do not need the grief. Do you want Ford to come back and work at headquarters? Absolutely. Nobody gets my hair like Agent Crawler. What will you do with Lucretia? I'd like to keep her under observation. What about the government? The Grulovian secret police? Please, this is Psychonaut's business. I'll bet you're happy my family is leaving soon. Actually, I've invited them to stay. What? I see a lot of potential in that sister of yours, and your little brother, and even your father. Are you going to make my family into psychonauts? Well, we should at least teach them psycho safety. Can't have them running loose, leaving a trail of burning pine cones behind them. Well, have fun on vacation. Thanks, Rasputin. If I see an octopus while snorkeling, I'll think of you. Right before I shoot it with my spear gun. Gonna miss you, Agent Forsythe. How adults organize. Agent 9, Vodello. Oh, hello, fellow Psychonaut. Yes, that's right, Agent Aquato. I like the sound of that. Agent Aquato. This is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> Are you both hanging around here or going back to camp? Well, I did leave my car there. And there's a new batch of children coming in a week. There's more kids coming to Whispering Rock this summer? Of course. Whispering Rock is one of the main revenue makers for the Psychonauts these days. What's going to happen to Crystal Malik? I need to run some experiments on him. You mean tests, Sasha? Oh, yes. Therapeutic tests. Mostly harmless. Remember the time we fought off those brain tanks? That was cool. Oh, that feels like 20 years ago. That reminds me. I need to get back to my lab. Lobato should be waking up any moment. You left Dr. Lobato tied up in your lab? Not tied up. I just used the brain tumbler to sedate him. Wow. That thing can do anything. See you next mission. Get some rest, young man. And thank you for all your help, darling. 
Metroid reference is not lost on me. Thank you, guys. We should probably go check on Lobato in a minute. Brand new. Some brand new so, we here. head over to the upgrade station. No more cards. But we can get the filter here to go find the figwits and stuff later. And most of the mines completed, so don't really need it. And I don't really see any new pins here. So that's all. And we're done with that. Alright, let's go see who's in Forsyth's office next. Oh, no one here. Oh, we can say goodbye to the mean sisters. Got some more scavenger. Do not say scavenger hunt items, please. I'm beginning to feel like you're not taking this seriously. Uh, is that all? I've had a lot on my plate lately. You certainly have a heaping helping of excuses on there, it seems. Norway is just an unpleasant person. <laughs> I'm not gonna call you the word, because we're better than that. Let's move We've on. Cords, also, pops, we never we completed the scavenger plus. hunt, but we got most of them, and there are plenty of guides online to help you find them. But I actually like Raz's new outfit better than the old one. It's a painting of Cassie, by the way. We know her. But if you go around and use our little archetype Gur to go through slots and doors and stuff that we couldn't access along the way, you can find a lot of the little scavenger items that we weren't able to get. They want to make sure you have done everything and been everywhere before you can get Raz's old outfit back. Alright, let's move on. Who should we talk to next? Also, it is nice to see the Mother Lobe. It's kind of like a 70s James Bond aesthetic they have going on. Everything is kind of round and kind of silvery, kind of white. It's nice. Hey, Coach. Really getting some use out of that swimming tail. Just doing some research for the amphibious assault capabilities of my death bot. You have a lot of problems to work through. I wonder if Nick will be a friend in the next game. Alright, where's Lobato? Speaking of old villains... Dr. Lobato, where do you think you're going? The green man told me to wait in the brain bumbler. That's not the brain tumbler. Oh, I guess I'm escaping then. Bye! Please don't tell. You know I'm a reformed man. You were there. You saw me. Hmm. Plus, I need to get back to camp. I left my kid there. Wait, what? Wait, you have a child? <laughs> My god. <laughs> well, um... This little, if you're not crazy, that might come up later. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, let's see. Wait, did we meet your kid in Psychonauts 1? Whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Can we burn some of Sasha's stuff? No, not really. And we wouldn't want to anyway. Okay, let's check out Mia's room. Ooh, she has the best office. I know I shouldn't be up here, but wow, it feels very intense. Well, yeah, this is where she tries to connect to the whole world psychically. It's awesome. And the key I forgot in plain sight. All right, I know where you go at least. To the bowling alley. At this last vault. Not that we really need the money right now. We have the pin that makes so much extra money fall, it's great. Here we go. Also, I didn't do it, but I'm pretty sure you can actually play bowling if you go find a bowler ball and throw it with TK. Okay, let's move on. Ouch. Ah, yeah, there'll probably be some people in the command oh, center. And helmet's brave. Oh, Bob and Helmet. There they are. Okay. This is what I meant. So, if you wanted to talk to Bob and Helmet, get that earlier conversation, because they had Nick's body and were over there in Green Needle Gulch, and they're here at the end of the game, that conversation is missable. This is their final location where they will be in the game. What are you two up to? We're planning our mission to rescue Helmet's body in Grulovia. And after that, we're gonna buy a treadmill and rescue Poppy's body. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
Yep, yep. Gotta stay in shape as we all do. Alright, let's go say hey to Lily and Truman. Assuming they're in Truman's office. Alright, let's see. Um, you can keep upgrading stuff because you want to, but I don't think there are any more difficult battles. Oh, here we go. Hey, what are you in the sandwich talking about? Okay, so I guess you Herman and Chew is it inherits Truman's office. Okay. They're not in here. Granted. Okay. Not here, not the board. You know what? They're probably in Lily's secret spot. That would make sense. Yep, they're over here. And then I was like, Dad! And you just moaned, Caviar! No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It wasn't you. You were locked up in a brain case far away. Oh, if only every brainless father had a daughter like you to save him. Oh, hi guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Young man, I still haven't thanked you for saving me from the rhombus of ruin. Lily told me all about it. I merely did what any psychonaut would do. Please don't hold against me what that twisted little man said with my tongue. Oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Except when you... And please don't tell me about it either. My daughter has already told me far too much. Forget about it, Pops. It was a phase. All dads go through it. <laughs> How's the brain reintegration going? Perfect. No side effects at all. Porpoise Sally and April? Oh? You little trickster. Trying to make me think I have brain damage. <laughs> You got me. That's only gonna be funny for a few more years. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Kind of messed up, I'm actually. I'm sorry, but I might have broken into your presidential locker on the jet. As long as you didn't break the music box that was inside. It was my mother's. Well, we did. But then Raz went inside of it using clairvoyance on a flea and fixed it. What an enterprising young man. Thanks for the save, Lil. Did you tell your dad about what happened at camp? Oh, well, now you have to tell me. It was no big deal. Oleander was stealing children's brains and using them as weapons in armored death tanks. Oh, is that all? Good. I thought it was something more worrying, like kissing. I've heard that happens a lot at summer camps. Dad, <laughs> gross. Well, I'll let you two get back to talking about me. Bye, Raz. <laughs> Yeah, Raz is gonna pay for that one later. <laughs> I like that he didn't care about the children's brains being stolen and put into death tanks. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever, you know, psychonauts business, you know how it goes. <laughs> but did my daughter kiss anyone? All right. Oh, check this out real quick. We no longer die when we go into water because that's actually our water abilities. We're aquatos. And we're waterbenders! And we were hurting ourselves because of Ford's stupid mental construction crap. But yeah! Raz didn't have a unique ability back in the day. They just said he had a lot of defense, but he's actually a waterbender. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Make any new gadgets lately? Actually, I'm thinking of a whole new line of gadgets. Gadgets that open up the mind for exploration, like in the old days. Wasn't that dangerous the way you early psychonauts used to explore the mind? Seeing that old astrolathe really inspired me. I'm going to make tiny, personal sized astrolathes to help people make small cosmetic changes to their personalities. Oh, God. Like how an injectable neurotoxin removes wrinkles, but to, for the mind. Please don't do that. <laughs> well, if there's a Psychonauts 3, we know the premise. It's a good idea to remove your mind's wrinkles. That's because you're a kid. Trust me, by the time you're my age, there will be plenty of wrinkles in that mind of yours you'll be happy to get rid of. Happy that Ford's back? You know, I missed that old abusive so-and-so. Abusive. You need a guy around like that to keep you humble. Why is that? I don't know. It's just something Ford keeps telling me. 
Yeah. Was it weird seeing your old friend Lucy again? You know, I was the one who brought Lucy here the first time, so I feel a little responsible. Really? No, not much. It was all Fort's fault. What's gonna happen now with Fort back? Knowing Ford, things will get chaotic and we'll lose all our funding. But that's okay. I have a backup plan. To tell you the truth, I've been fighting off the venture capitalists for years. Maybe you should get out of this lonely lab. Ah, uh, I'm fine. I have my gadgets. And a pretty friendly crab sandwich scuttled by a while back. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Otto. See you next time, kid. Yeah, so Otto got a little bullied and also needs to have a little bit more ethics with his inventions before he causes us more hell. But anyway, let's move on and say hey to some family. Okay, one more time from the top. Yes, the Aquatos have had a long time feud with the Galokios. They were fortune tellers and Papa said that's bad. He only said that because he thought the Galokios had cursed all Aquatos to die in water. But it's not true and... We're actually Galokios? We have two Galokio grandmas. Kind of. A real grandma, Marona. Who I never met. None of us did. And her sister, Lucretia, or Nona, who is also someone named Maligula. The big water funnel we beat up with Pooter. Yes. And our real grandpa is Gelson Mux. No, Gelson Mux is Nona's first husband. Nona, you and your secrets. But the poor guy died in the Grulovian Wars before she came here. And started dating the old bacon guy. Is he our grandpa? No. Anyway, she went back to Grulovia to help in the war, and that's when she became Maligula and accidentally killed our real grandma, Morona. That's so sad. It is. Everybody's sad about it. But it's better to be sad than to do what the bacon man did next. He tricked Papa and told him that Nona was his mama. He used a machine to trick Papa's mind from the inside. But Nona is our grandma. I mean, Nona! Not really, but if we want, kinda? If she wasn't our Nona, we couldn't call her Nona. Tella, that's not how this works. None of this makes sense. I don't get it. <sighs> That's actually a pretty good breakdown Rask, of the family. Crazy says Nona's not our Nona. Well, uh, it's a long story. You want to tell it? Oh, uh, I would, but uh, I gotta go do some spy stuff. <laughs> that would be a lot to figure out as a kid. Hi, Say Mom. hey to Mom. Putty, my middle baby. So glad you are here. Much work to do. What work? Now that you have lifted the evil curse on our family, I just pointed out that it was all in our minds. Yes, yes. You believe what you must believe. Either way, it opens up so many possibilities. This is going to be a new golden age of the Aquato family circus. Water axe? We will finally earn our name. Think Dad will be okay? Eventually. You know, I think there was a part of him that always knew... This may finally bring him peace. Why don't you go talk to him? He's probably up high somewhere, staring off into space. Handsomely. Did you know the truth about Nona? Well, she did always seem a little off to me. But I thought that was just a mother-in-law thing. We be lost again? You've taught me that sometimes you must let your children roam free. Because that's how we learn. Because they have psychic powers they can use to crush all who oppose them, hmm? <laughs> I have some ideas for water acts. Okay, here we go. I'm listening. Trapeze over shark tank. How do we transport sharks, Rasputin? Next idea. Underwater tightrope? Not dangerous enough. Try again. Wet blanket fighting. Terrible. Next. Dog washing. Ugh. What else? On second thought, never mind. You've convinced me to avoid collaboration for the time being. I'm gonna get back to my important spy stuff. Don't forget to check on your father, Mr. Big Man of the World. And we will check on Papa Quato for something really nice. Really, really nice. 
Let's see what else we can find in the forest as we look for dad. Um, nice to see the old windmill. And I do love this uh, campy forest theme. If you've ever been to summer camp, it brings back warm memories. Okay, his dad is up somewhere high. So he's probably up here. No, not there. Where is he? Up oh, there he is, standing there, handsomely, as Mom says. Hey, Dad. Hello, son. How do you feel about Nona now? How can I answer that? She's at the center of so many painful events. But in the end, she might be the one who suffered the most. How are you doing? I'm not quite sure. So many things to think about. Are your memories changing? I don't even know which memories are mine. I have memories of my mother from before she died and I miss her. But I also have a lifetime of memories with Nona. It's giving me a bit of an identity crisis. Tell me about your identity crisis. Well... Memories are stories we tell ourselves about where we come from. It's how we figure out who we are. And the story I've been telling myself all my life is a lie. Are you mad at Ford? I feel tricked and confused. But that man, he's put himself through enough. What are you gonna do now? I think I'm going to let this whole mess simmer for a bit in the back of my mind while I focus on making some new stories for the family. So, is Nona still in the family? Well, she's still our blood, Rasputin. And she always will be. As far as where she'll live now, that's up to her. She's with Ford right now in the Green Needle Gulch. Trying to answer that very question. What about the circus? Oh, son, that's going to be something now. The Aquatos have some great water tricks we haven't used in a generation. <laughs> there you it's go. It's time for the Aquatos family circus to rise again. Good. Good, good, good. Do you feel like you're free of the water curse? Oh, yes, I feel great about it now. Later today, I'm thinking we should all go for a swim. That little army fellow offered to give us all swimming lessons. <laughs> okay. I'll leave you alone. I never mind talking to you, son. We psychics understand each other, right? That was a beautiful father-son moment. And why the bonus episode is here. I love that moment, and I hope you guys got to enjoy it too. And say hey to your mom or dad, and thank them for being there whenever you need to talk sometimes. Whoever that is for you in your life. An older brother, older sister, someone, friend, maybe a sensei. Alright, a couple family members we haven't seen. Ooh. Wait, what did you two have to talk about? Not you, if that's what you're worried about. Your brother has some ideas about psychics. Did you know that psychic powers don't come from drinking human blood? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm happy you two found each other. That's one way to get <laughs> older brother on the psychic side. All right, you'll be fine, Dion. <laughs> Okay, let's head over to Green Needle Gulch for the last couple people. So we know Bobby and Helmet are in the command center. I think Cassie and Compton are chilling out at Cassie's house, so we'll just leave them for the, to their private time. But the people we really need to speak to most are the bully, the villain, the selfish man, the great cursor of our family, for Crawler, <laughs> and we need to talk to Nona. Hi there. 
Rasputin. I have much on my mind. But I want you to know that in my heart, you are my grandson. My second favorite grandson. Well, that certainly sounds like something my Nona would say. <laughs> what are you two gonna do now? We're gonna recuperate here for a bit. <sighs> Make sure Lucy's okay. Oh, I'm fine! Thanks to little Queepy here. Think you'll come back to work at the mother lobe agent crawler? Well, I need to spend at least a little time there, or else those bowling alley shoes are gonna sprout legs and walk away. But I'd also love to take Lucy to Whisper and Rock. He thinks if he gives me all the canoe at sunset that I won't be able to resist his advances. <laughs> okay, that's enough. He's right. Okay! <laughs> Man! <laughs> What's next for the Psychonauts, Agent Crawler? Well, I'm not sure, but uh, if I have any influence, we'll get back to basics. Exploring the human mind. There's still so much mystery to explore there, Rasputin. If you're going to give your final frontier speech, I'm going to close my eyes and sleep for a bit. <laughs> you keep talking. Well, I thought it was interesting. Have you talked to my dad yet? Not yet. Do you uh, think he'd talk to me? I think my dad will need a little time. But you know what they say about acrobats? They're they very flexible. Bounce back. Huh. Well, I hope both are true. I'll leave you two alone. Stay away from the water! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Old habit. <laughs> Scary! Well, you get to see Green Needle Gulch in the daytime. It's a kind of dreary swamp, very green. Green and yellow Psychonauts colors. And we're gonna leave these two alone. Ford, you are a dangerous, dangerous man. But at least you're old and hopefully done with your problems. But yeah, y'all, that's Psychonauts 2 in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did the art. Thanks for sticking around all the way to the bonus episode. It's more great things coming on the channel. We're going to see more characters and more wonderful tales. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's so much I want to do. And I'm so excited to show you guys something truly beautiful. Okay, one last look at the honey and everything. Get to see it in the daytime. And uh, that's pretty much it. Next time, we have a new hero with a new tail. He's adorable, very popular, and his story's way lighter than this, and it's probably up on the channel by now. I oh. hope Ford dismantles this thing. Or Bob turns it into a planter. Yeah, please destroy this thing immediately. <laughs> it's gonna cause way too many problems. But yeah, thank you for watching Psychonauts 2 with Mighty Z. I hope, I desperately hope there'll be a Psychonauts 3 to make it a clean trilogy. But at this point, I'm really, really not sure. But um, yeah, other than that, um, editing techniques will continue to improve on the channel and we're gonna continue to have a great time going forward. For the last time, Psychonauts, be safe, be well, and goodbye.